Now, here we will check two things. Is the uh, stack is empty? And the second is the precedence of operators. Uh, if the stack contains an operator that has the higher pres precedence than the one we are going to push into, then the operator is a token, then the token we are going to push, then we will first pop the higher precedence out and then we will push. We cannot push a lower precedence on the top of an higher precedence operator. Suppose uh, we have a multiplication sign here, right? And if we are going to push plus, so that's not legal. Uh, we cannot push a lower precedence operator on the top of higher precedence operator. We cannot do like this, right? So what we need to do first is we first we will first pop this multiplication out, and then we will push plus. We can we can push a higher precedence operator on the top of lower precedence operator like this, right? So we will check this first, and I am taking him to the while loop because the number of operators we if the number of operators are more than one so I, so that i could pop every um, high precedent precedence operator before pushing the lower precedence operator first i'll check if the stack dot empty false if the stack is not empty and if it's not empty then and check the precedence so i'll say get precedence i'll take help from the guest precedence method that we uh, wrote this one get precedence method right Th this precedence will give me the a numeric number based on the operator that i'll uh, i'll pass to this method so i'll i'll say okay so now first i'll get the operator which is there in the stack on the top of the stack stack dot peak so what the peak method does, peak method will only uh, looks at the uh, object at the top of the stack without removing it from the stack. It won't remove it. It will just make a copy of that uh, element and give it, give, give us that uh, element. So I'll say peak. If that is greater than or equal to the one which we are giving them. So get precedence token. Right. Okay. So what it's saying is, uh, object cannot be converted in the string. Okay. So the stack. Okay. Now where our stack is of uh, the general stack which will contain different objects. Let's make it give uh, a type to the stack. Now our stack will contain strings only, and the problem has been resolved. So what I'm saying is, uh. The top of the stack is greater, has higher precedence than the one we are pushing in. Suppose uh, in, in the stack we have multiplication sign and we are pushing in plus. So w this is not legal. So first we will pop the uh, multiplication and then we will push the uh, plus. So in that case, uh, what we will say, we will say is postfix uh, plus equals stack dot pop pop that element and also add space right okay keep on popping it till we uh, we have popped out all the higher precedence operators and if the stack is not empty sorry if the stack is empty it means there is nothing in the stack then they will simply stack dot sorry we will simply push the token to the stack nothing fancy right okay else okay if we have uh, we have uh, checked the if the token is operand then we have checked if the token is the bracket and we also check the if this that is an operator but we need to check one more thing which is the uh, the closing bracket this is the opening one we also need to check if the token is a closing bracket so we will say token dot equals and that token is and that token is this one right 
now in that case we will pop every element out from this tag right while so i'll take help from the while because it's a loop uh while um stack dot peak dot equals i'll say if it equals to the uh opening bracket okay. run till you find the opening one opening bracket and what we will do postfix plus equals stack stack dot pop stack dot pop So what I'm saying here is, if you have something like, um, let me show you, uh, if you have something like, like this, we have an opening bracket, then we have plus, then we have multiply, and then if we encounter the closing bracket, something like that. So we will pop the pop the multiplication sign, then we will pop the addition sign, and you also need to pop this one. But we will not append this bracket these brackets into the postfix uh, expression because we know postfix expressions are bracketless bracket free right so we have we will keep on popping out the elements till we find the opening bracket and then i am going to pop out that opening bracket also dot stack dot pop but here we are not appending it to the postfix expression right uh so it's a it's a uh, closing bracket so you can say it's sorry opening bracket it's the opening bracket right so i think uh we have implemented we have yeah definitely we have implemented all the all the scenarios and this method we have um, covered all this um the all possible um scenarios to create and post expression now in the last and uh, we will uh, pop out if there is any operator remaining in the expression so as you know in the end uh, when we will reach the end uh, at the last token there could have been operators in this type so we need to pop that out and append that to the post uh, expression for that I'll say while uh, stack dot empty while, while while there is something in the stack. So what you do? Postfix plus equals mm, stack dot pop pop plus Right, and then we will simply return our postfix string. Uh, postfix string. Okay, so we are good now. We have implemented the method, and let's now run this. And to run this, we need to take help from the main method. Here we have a main method, and I'll say infix converter inf equals new infix converter. Okay. And let's take a string infix equals let's take a simple expression two plus three. We need to give a space because we are separating tokens based on space. So two plus three space multiplied by four. This is just a simple expression. And system out we will say infix this expression is this one in fix and system out and you will say post fix post fix expression will be inf dot convert and we have passed 
What's this? Okay. So now let's run this and let's check. Uh, have we done the work correctly? Uh, here we go. We have 2 plus 3 multiplied by 4. We have 2, 3, 4 multiplied by n plus. It's good. We are good now. Now let's uh, use uh, one more expression in which we'll have the brackets so that we could check our brackets uh, working fine or not. Our bracket implementation. In fix 2 and I'll say three space multiply by big star and I'll say six space six plus two um multiply four uh and here let's remove this and say multiply by five minus eight divided by four. Right, and we have infix two here, and then we have infix two. And let, let's run this. Okay, so as you can see, two six, and we have then plus two. Okay, as, as you can see, we have not written this expression correctly. Right, right, now it's good, now it's good. That was not correct. Now, we have 2 multiplied by 3, then brackets, we have 3, um, we have expression 6 plus 2 multiplied by 4. So as you can see, 2, 6, 2, and then we have multiply. So, uh, 6 will be multiplied by 2, Okay, is why it's breaking coming here? Oh, right. as you can see, the bracket, there is no space between the 4 and the bracket. So, now it will evaluate correctly. It wasn't correct previously. Alright, now we have, now we are good. Now, first we will multiply 2 and 4. So, as you can see, 2 and 4 and then multiplication. And then we will add the result to the 6. As you can see, that result will be added to the 6 and then the result will be multiplied by 2 and then we will multiply by 5 then for then 8 and 4 will be divided first and then minus so as you can see we have implemented this uh, conversion of the postfix ex infix expression to the postfix one and we did this come successfully uh, you, you will get the code and you can see the code in depth and you can understand that so we have used the stack data structure in order to come up with the solution so data structures are there and data structures uh, help us to, to to find the solution in efficient manner in the next uh, lecture we will focus on the evaluation of the postbox expression and we will um, in, uh, dig in, in uh, into the code first we will see the algorithm how it works and then we will uh, implement the postfix expression thank you for watching